Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Josh Rivera. I make interior design related videos. Today's video is all about lime wash. This past December, I uploaded a video called Everything You Need to Know Lime Wash, and the response I got was a little bit overwhelming. Um, definitely not what I expected when I made the video, but it has over 100,000 views that keep coming in every day. Um, and I've gotten so many comments and most of them are questions that you guys have. So I thought that I would kind of go back a little bit through all those comments, gather the most frequently asked questions and make today's video for you guys. So I hope that today's video is helpful and maybe after watching this, you can finally say yes to Lime Wash. So what is Lime Wash? Well, it's not exactly a paint, although a lot of people will say lime paint or will refer to it as a paint because it goes on in a very similar way to paint. But Lime Wash is a specialty wall finish that has been used forever and ever. Um, usually or originally was used on like stucco and brick and a lot of exterior spaces, but it has been adapted to be able to bring some of that beauty into the inside of the home. So it is essentially lime putty that has been aged, that is sort of diluted down with water, um, and then natural pigments are used to get all the different colors. So essentially it's just lime putty, water, and some pigment. I can think of three, I guess, main reasons why someone would choose to add lime wash into their home. First being that you just like it. Um, you've seen photos, you've seen it in someone's space, you've seen it somewhere and you just like the look of it and you want it in your house, simple as that. Reason number two is that it is an eco-friendly, eco-conscious choice. It is made from all natural materials. Um, there are no VOCs, it is non-toxic, all of the good things. So that is another great reason to choose it. And the third reason I think is because you are just looking for something that's a little bit different to add interest and texture and richness to one of your rooms. Lime wash can bring a bit of coziness in. It is a sort of way to bring the natural elements into your space and also to add those textural components. So, where do you get lime wash? Well, I have to highly recommend this company that I found called Bowwork that is also today's sponsor. This is an Australian-based company that was started in the year 2000, dedicated to creating beautiful lime wash paints. So this is a company that I've been stalking on social media for quite some time, just watching the influx of beautiful photos. And something that really attracted me to the company was the color selection. I thought it was such a unique thing to offer, given that the first lime wash company I found um, I really only was able to choose tan gray white, the like basic, basic neutrals. So I love that this company offers such a wide range of colors because it really gives you this custom feel experience where you can choose the exact tone, the exact hue that you're looking for when designing a space. I think their lime washes are definitely well priced and my favorite thing was that the shipping was so, so quick. Um, it does ship from a bit far away so I was very thrilled with how quickly the lime wash came, so I was able to just jump on my project because I am very impatient. As a backup, the first place that I found it was at Home Depot. It is only available online, but that is where I first stumbled upon it um, and was able to get it. So this is a question that I get a lot. Um, lime wash has been very trendy right now, and a lot of the photos that have been circulating on Pinterest and Instagram are all in neutral colors and tans and grays. But no, as I mentioned before, companies like Bow Work have an insanely wide color selection, so you really can customize to get the exact color and the exact feel you want for a space. Can I do it myself? Yes, you can do this yourself. Um, I actually recommend that you do this yourself for a couple reasons. The first being when I first decided that lime wash was something that I really loved and that I really wanted for my space, I looked into hiring a painter because I wanted it to be done perfectly, but I did not really find anyone out there who was familiar with lime wash. It truly is a specialty finish and it's not something that everyone out there has seen or that everyone out there knows about. 
Um, so I recommend doing it yourself because it is honestly a relatively simple DIY. It is manual work, um, but it is not difficult. It does not really take skill. There's not much technicality to it. So I would recommend doing this yourself. And for a full tutorial about exactly how to do it, just refer to that first video that I posted on LimeWash and I will link it up here and also down below. Do I need to prepare my walls in any special way? Do I need to prime my walls? These are questions that everyone had as well. I did talk about it briefly in the first video, but I'll just be a little bit more in depth in this video. So you should prep your walls if you want to lime wash them. That being said, for the purposes of this video and this question, I'm talking about drywall because most of us live in apartments and houses where commonly all of our walls, at least that we see, are made of drywall. So when speaking of drywall on interior spaces, you definitely should prep your walls. You sort of have two options. The first, which I talked about in my first video, is just applying a white acrylic based primer. This is the sort of quick and dirty way to start and to get lime wash on your walls quickly. The reason I say that is because white primer is super easy to find and relatively cheap, but it is not the absolute best option for lime wash. It works, but there is something better. When I first started experimenting with lime wash, I didn't realize that there was something better, that there was another option. So a lot of companies like Bauwerk sell a mineral primer or a lime primer, and this is essentially a primer type of paint um, that has lime actually inside of the paint. So the reason that this works so well is because number one, you're putting this white paint on your wall, but number two, because it has that lime in it, when you start lime washing your walls, the lime in the wash is gonna stick to the lime in that primer. And so you're gonna create this really strong first foundation layer, and that's gonna make your lime wash more durable, last longer, and look better. So all you'll need is your lime wash, your primer, whichever you're going to use, whether it's the mineral primer or an acrylic primer, and a block brush. Um, so super simple, you really don't need a lot of things to get started with this. Uh, beyond that, you can get tape and tarp and anything you want to sort of protect your surfaces, but for the lime wash, just those three things. Do I need to wear protective gear? Generally, you do not need to wear protective gear. I did get a few questions about this, but typically these lime paints are safe to touch your skin and you really don't need any sort of protection. For example, the one made by Bauwerk is made from a non-reactive aged lime putty, so they do not recommend the use of goggles or gloves. However, all lime wash is not made equally, so definitely check with whatever company you're buying from to make sure that the lime you're using is safe, and when in doubt, why not just throw on the gloves and goggles. How do I apply lime wash or can it be rolled on? So this is another question that uh, has come up a lot and generally you cannot roll on lime wash. What you can do is you can roll on your primer, even if it's the mineral primer you can roll that on so that's going to make things a lot quicker for you. But for the actual lime wash you really need to do it by hand with that block brush because each stroke you make is going to be what is adding to that texture. That being said, there are people out there that will roll on their first coat of lime wash. It is not something that I would personally recommend, however, you can technically, I've seen it done, roll on the first coat of lime wash. It can be a little bit difficult because unlike paint, it is not thick, it's very thin, so doing that could be a little bit difficult. If you do that though, I would recommend doing maybe an additional coat on top at the end because if you apply it with a roller that first layer is not going to have as much of a texture as it would have if you did it with a block brush. For a full walkthrough and tutorial of how to line wash your walls, refer to that first video. So this is a question I didn't expect to get but I actually got this question a lot of times. Um, it's just not something I thought about previously but the short answer is yes. You can apply lime wash to walls that already have a texture. However, 
what we have been talking about in this video and my previous video is really that classic line wash look. So while you can apply it to already textured walls, you may not end up with that classic line wash look that we're talking about. Your final texture might be more subtle, might be more noticeable, it might be different. So just be sure you're not expecting the same result if you're working with a surface that isn't smooth to start. I just want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor for today's video, Bauer. If you guys are looking for lime wash, definitely check out this company. Their selection is absolutely insane and their lime wash was the best that I've ever worked with today. They really supported me in making this video. They helped me get through a few of those FAQs for you guys and they sent me paint and primer and brushes to redo my whole room and make this video for you guys. So a huge, huge thank you to them. Definitely check them out. Now let's get back to the video. Can this be used in a bathroom? Um, yes, actually. In the case of Bauwerk Lime Wash, for example, it is actually recommended for high humidity environments. It's non-film forming, it is antimicrobial, it is antifungal, um, it does not peel or anything like that. So it is very suitable for environments that do have high humidity, that do have exposure to water. The one thing to keep in mind is that be mindful where you place it because lime wash, it's natural, you know, it doesn't have additives to sort of prevent dirt the way some household paints do. So keep it away from areas that are super prone to dirt. For example, in your bathroom, you might want to have a backsplash so that when washing dirty hands, anything that splashes is going to be on something like tile that's easily wipeable. Um, because if it's splashing against the lime, dirt and oil can leave marks on it. So for those reasons, maybe not right by the shower or right by the sink, but generally in the vicinity, the ceiling, the walls all around, you can use lime wash in a bathroom. So that sort of leads into the next question, which is, is it washable? So most lime wash companies don't recommend that you clean lime wash. They say it has naturally antimicrobial um, properties to it and it doesn't really need to be cleaned. That being said, you can lightly clean it with like soap and warm water, nothing with a lot of chemicals, something super mild. But again, keep in mind that lime itself is a bit porous. So if it's something like dirt or oil, it might leave marks that might not be able to come out just by cleaning it by hand. So because it's not perfectly cleanable or washable, um, the recommendation is whenever your walls need a touch up, need to be freshened up, um, if there's something you really can't get off, it's to just go back and patch it up with more lime wash. The uniquely beautiful thing about lime wash is when accidents happen or the walls get damaged or anything like that, going back with more lime wash will just add to the texture that you have, will just add more uniqueness to it. And it's really easy to hide things like that, like dirt stains or damages, by going over with just another little patch of lime wash. Does it need to be sealed? Lime wash does not need to be sealed. Um, most companies actually recommend that you don't seal your walls. The reason for this is because, as we mentioned, lime is naturally antimicrobial, naturally antifungal, and if you were to seal your walls, you would lose all those properties. The other reason is because lime paint is meant to be this eco-friendly option, and inherently, if you're putting a sealer on it, there's probably plastic in that, and it's sort of going against that type of design choice. However, I understand that we want things to stay pretty. Something like this may be hard to maintain for like a large family or if you really want it in an area that's high traffic and you think it might get dirty. So you can seal your walls. You can seal it with something matte, with something glossy. Just know that you're gonna lose some of the classic chalkiness that comes with lime wash. So that is just something to keep in mind. But if you want to seal it, you can. So when we're talking about lime wash, we always say texture, 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 because that's what it is. That's really the big impact that it has on a space. However, we are speaking of a visual texture, the sort of weight that it holds in a room, the way that it sort of makes your eyes scan across a room, and that's really what we're talking about. 
if you are mixing your own lime wash or if you are working with lime wash that you need to dilute yourself. And when you're making your lime wash, it's a little bit on the thicker side. In those cases, it can have a physical texture. When you're applying the lime wash, there are times with a thicker lime wash that you're going to see brush strokes. So if that's something that you're looking for or going for, I would recommend buying some lime wash that comes as like a putty. I know companies like Romabio sell it this way. But if you get something like that, you can make a thicker lime wash and in doing so, you, you will get some of those brush strokes that are actually a physical texture on the ball. Is this renter friendly? Um, in a way, it is renter friendly. The reason I say yes is because the way to get rid of lime wash is to just paint over it. So just like in any other apartment, if you wanted to paint your room blue or pink or whatever, in the same way, before you move out, all you would have to do is repaint your walls white. Um, or you can speak to your landlord. If they like how it looks, they may leave it. Um, so definitely always talk to your landlord or talk to your super, whoever you need to talk to before doing something like this. But if you live somewhere where you're allowed to paint as long as you paint back, you can definitely do this because it's easy to get rid of. How to get rid of it, we just answered this too. Just go over it with regular paint. Simple as that. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. I know it has been so, so long since I last uploaded something for you guys, but I really appreciate the patience. I have just been so busy and I really wanted to make this video so awesome for you guys and make sure I answer as many questions as I possibly could. Thank you again for checking it out. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to do that down below. And as always, leave a like and a comment. I'll see you guys next time.